Hello guys. Today I'm excited to share my color correction tutorial for my recent Stranger Things edit. I will show you how to take your edit to the next level with advanced color grading techniques. By the end of this video, you will be able to transform your edit from this to this. I took this rather dull and pixelated video and turned it into a high quality masterpiece with stunning colors. So let's dive into the tutorial. I guarantee that you can achieve this level of color grading after watching this tutorial. But remember to watch it patiently and truly understand the why behind each step. I've prepared two clips from my edit, both in 4K resolution and properly color flush. First, create an adjustment layer. I always prefer to color grade each clip separately instead of applying a single CC preset to the entire edit. Preset may not work well with different clips due to varying saturation and exposure levels. Next, import the looks plugin. Now follow along as I use and adjust various effects to achieve the desired output. We will be using exposure, shadow and highlights, hue and saturation and S-curve. For exposure, I'll set it to 1. In shadows and highlight, I will use 1 for shadows and 0.5 for highlights. For hue and saturation, I will go with around 130. The most important effect for adjusting CC mistakes is the S-curve. Practice using this. The two points are for exposure adjustment, the midpoint blend video exposure and the two ends of this line are for adjusting contrast. The first clip is now ready. Let's move on to color grade the second clip. Before that, I will show you what happened if I copy paste the same CC applied to the last clip. Clearly, it doesn't look good. So let's start creating something better for this clip. Again, import looks, exposure, shadows and highlight, hue and saturation, S-curve and this time color mixer also from the tools. For exposure, I will set it to 1.2. In shadows and highlight, I will use 1 for shadows and 0.5 for highlights. For hue and saturation, I will go with the saturation 200 since it might look unnatural. I will use color mixer to adjust the colors. You can play with this for find more better colors. Now by using S-curve, make some final adjustment. After this, it's time for the finishing touch. Create another adjustment layer for an overall video. Now you can apply the same value to all your clips. Import unsharp mask, sharpen and looks for minor adjustment and then detail preserving upscale also. Follow my values. Set the amount to 15 and the radius to 45 for up shark mask. For sharpen, use a value of 55 and for detail preserving upscale set everything to 100. For looks, make minor changes in shadow and highlight and hue and saturation. Our color grading is done now. Let's move on to the next step. But before we do, if you have any question related to this tutorial, please feel free to reach out to me on the Instagram. Also, if you create something amazing inspired by this tutorial, don't forget to tag me. Next, open Topaz. I'm using version 2.6.4 and follow my settings. Feel free to adjust the values according to what I am using. Revert compression, make it 100. Recover details, 85. Sharpen, 30. Reduce noise 90, dehalo 15, and deblur 100. If you have a good GPU, consider upscaling to 4K and you can now export it. Now, if you are interested in learning how to export in After Effects professionally or how to import MKV files in After Effects, check out my videos. Please share your valuable comments and suggestions for what did you like to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.